Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I am here with this important topic of plant embryology that is pollination process. This is part one. In this part, I will discuss only about the cell pollination process. In next slide, I have one animation that will make you clear about this process of pollination. Pollination is the act of transferring pollen grains from the male anther of a flower to the female stigma. Seeds can only be produced when pollen is transferred between flowers of the same species. There are two types of pollination. First, self-pollination. Second, cross-pollination. Self-pollination occurs when pollen grains fall directly from anther into the stigma of the flower. This process is quite simple and fast, which leads to a reduction in genetic diversity as the sperm and egg cells of the flower belong to same plant. Cross-pollination The transfer of pollen grains from the anther of the flower into the stigma of another flower. This method increase in genetic diversity as different flowers will share and combine their genetic material to create unique offspring. Types of cross-pollination Pollination by wind anemophily, only a few flowers that use wind pollination. Pollination by animals, zoophily. Animals play an important role in plant reproduction. Artificial pollination is done by human beings. The process of fertilization in plants will take place when the sperm cells will reach the ovary and egg cells. The seed is then released from the parent plant and making it able to grow into a plant and continue the reproductive cycle with the use of the pollination method. Firstly, what is pollination? So it is this process by which pollen grains are transferred from the anthers to the stigma of carpal is known as pollination. So it is a process by which pollen grains from the anther are transferred to the stigma present on the carpal. This process is known as pollination. Here we use these two terms. One is pollinator and second one is pollinizer. Pollinator is the term used for agencies like we have bee, flies, bat, moth and birds. While pollinizer is the plant that serves as the source of pollen grain. So this is the plant which acts as a source of pollen grain that is known as pollinizer. So these are two terms that we use in this case. Then 80% species of the plants are pollinated by animals but the main pollinators are insects. So insects plays a very important role in transfer of pollens from one plant to another flower of another plant. Some plants are self-compatible. It means they show self-pollination. Means jo anthers and see flower ke, they will transfer its pollen into the stigma of the same flower that is called self uh, pollination while others have chemical or physical barriers which avoid cell pollination so just give us a cross pollination and chiorati fruiting is dependent on the pollination and fertilization so fruit formation that is dependent on this process that is pollination 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 is of two type basically do tarah ke hoti hai. First is the cell pollination, which is also known as autogamy. Auto means self, gamy means marriage. This means same flower, ke jo pollens hai, wo fertilize karte hai, same flower ke egg ko. So that process is known as cell pollination, while the other type of pollination is cross pollination. That is also known as xenogamy. Xeno means foreigner, alien, allogamy. The other term used for cross pollination is allogamy. So this is done with the help of certain agencies, which are of two types. One is abiotic agency. Second is biotic agency. So abiotic agencies include non-living agents like we have air and water. Pollination by air is known as anemophily or pollination by water is known as hydrophily. So that we will discuss in detail. Second comes biotic agencies. So these are the living organisms which uh, take part in pollination process. The first one that we can see in this for, uh, for image that is Cantherophily, it is a pollination by the agency of beetles. Then next we have Phalenophily, that is by the agency of moths. Then Melitophily, that is by the agency of bees. Then Psychophily, that is the transfer of pollen grains with the agency of butterflies. Malacophily, through the 
agency of snails then ornithophily pollination by birds chiropterophily that is pollination by bats then we have myrmecophily that is pollination by ants so these are different agencies which helps in transfer of pollens from one plant to the another plant to ensure cross pollination then again this is slide which shows the types of pollination for cell pollination it is further of two types the first one within the same flower that is called autogamy then the same plant but flowers are different that is known as gitonogamy so this is the subtype of cell pollination then cross pollination of two type a which involves abiotic agencies and biotic agencies abiotic agencies include wind and water while biotic agencies include different insects and animal like we have snails insect birds bats and other vertebrates then uh, there are certain humans uh, humans can also transfer pollen grains so the term used for that is anthrophily anthrophily and there is one term that is used for dispersal of fruits or seeds by humans that is called anthrocody anthrocody and the broader term is zoocody and zoophily zoocody for fruit dispersal and zoocody for zoophily for pollination by animals so these are some terms that we used in this case so firstly cell pollination as the name indicates this is the transfer of pollen grain of the same uh, flower to the stigma of the same flower so here plant fertilizes its own egg is known as self pollination so transfer pollens from anther to the stigma of same flower is known as self pollination and uh, there is another uh, case where another flower on the same plant so that the term used for this is gitonogamy so it is a, a regular occurrence of some species like we have arachis hypogea that is uh, peanut while it occurs only when the cross pollination fails in some plants like we have aster helianthus or tegetus these are the member of family astrici cell pollinated species are thought to be originated from cross pollinated species so ye mana jata hai ki jo cell pollinated species hain wo unka origin hua hai cross pollinated species se it is thought to have evolved under conditions when pollinators were not reliable vectors for pollen transfer so this is a adaptation because these plants are unable to find suitable pollinators to transfer the pollen grain so that's why they have adop adapted this method of cell pollination cell pollination is most often seen in short level short lived annual species and plants that colonize new locations it is further of two types one is autogamy and second one is gitonogamy autogamy means the transfer of pollen from within the same flower to the stigmatic surface and gitonogamy that is the transfer in the same plant transfer of pollen grains from one flower to the other flower of same plant so firstly autogamy auto means self gamy means marriage so the condition where pollen from anthers move to the female part that is stigma of the same flower is known as autogamy the following three types of adaptations are found in self pollinated or autogamous flower first one is homogamy homo means same gamy means marriage here the maturity level of anther and stigma is similar or same at the same time where anther and stigma of a hermaphroditic flowers mature at the same time so this is the condition when the anthers or stigma mature at the same time so that this process ensured the self pollination plants adapted to self fertilize have stamens and carpels of same length so this is another adaptation to facilitate autogamy this may koi bhi special uh, differentiation nahi hoti hai the style exhibit bending movements in the flowers of apiaceae lamiaceae and cactaceae that places the stigma close to anther to ensure cell pollination then the bending of filament in mirabilis jalapa that is four o'clock plant brings the anthers close to stigma while the stigma bends over the anther in potato so this is again some adaptations shown by cell pollinating plants the growth of style in mature flower brings the stigma in contact with ripe anthers present at the mouth of uh, mouth of corolla tube in catharinthus this is another ad adaptation to ensure self pollination next is clistogamy clistos means closed gamy means marriage so this is again one phenomenon which ensures self pollination is mein jo flowers hain open nahi hote hain so this is the type of pollination where the flowers do not open or remain closed at least till the process of pollination is completed so where the flowers do not open 
or remain closed at least till the process of pollination is completed there are some plants which uh, are obligatory clistogamous means they produce flowers which are obligate clistogamous uh, for example we have polycarpon terraphylum so this plant produces clistogamous flowers only there are some plants like we have ajuga comelina this is the photograph of comelina then we have drosera that is sundew plant and oxalis this is oxalis then sexifraga and sacrofloracea and finally we have viola that is also known as pansy so these are some plants which produces small inconspicuous clistogamous flowers on subterranean or underground rhizomes jo underground portion hai usme produce karte hain ye clistogamous flowers and chasmogamous flowers chasmogamous flowers means which opens petals encircling enclosed reproductive parts jo open hote hain flowers these flowers are known as chasmogamous flowers to jo above ground part hai wahan pe produce karte hain attractive and brightly colored flowers uh, which are basically chasmogamous flowers like this this is comelina which produces chasmogamous flower in the above ground part and uh, clistogamous flowers uh, in the below ground part the anther and stigmas mature before the opening of flower bud in peanuts jo peanuts hain groundnut that is arachis hypogea isme jo stigma aur anthers hain wo pehle hi mature hote hain flowers ke open hone se pehle and there are some beans and some grasses to ensure the process of self pollination so ye jo flowers hote hain which remains closed until the process of pollination is completed are known as clistogamous flowers next is gitonogamy so it is a type of pollination self pollination in which uh, the uh, pollens from one flower gets transferred to the stigma of another flower of the same plant so this is known as gitonogamy where pollen grains are transferred to another flower on the same plant or genetically similar plant the phenomenon is known as gitonogamy this process is known as gitonogamy the flowers exhibit some adaptation similar to one found in cross pollination flowers some interesting cases like we have antomophilus berhavia diffusa undergo self pollination during rainy seasons when insect pollinator do not visit the flowers so jo berhavia diffusa hai isme pollination hoti hai uh, self pollination in the rainy season because koi bhi insect pollinators available nahi hote so that's why they show the self pollination process its style and stigma coils around the anther to ensure pollination that is self pollination the bifid stigma curls back in helianthus sunflower mein uh, jo bifid stigma hai wo curl back hota hai helianthus mein if self pollination fails and we have pollen grains in viola odorata which germinate while still inside the anther lobe wo anther ke andar hi germinate kar jate hain then pollen tubes pierces through the anther wall and reaches the stigmatic surface to bring about self pollination to to ensure self pollination this viola odorata show this type of phenomenon next comes advantages of self pollination so what are the various advantages of self pollination firstly it helps in maintaining the purity of race jo race ki purity hai that is maintained and conserved uh, by the process of self pollination so it helps in conservation of parental characters it helps in ensuring seed production and perpetuation of the race so this is again another advantage of self pollination it helps the plant by preventing wasteful production of large number of pollen grains so jo cross pollination hai uske liye plants ko bahut zyada amount mein pollen produce karne padte hain so to avoid that wasteful process it is advantages over the cross pollination process cell pollination do not have to develop devices for attracting pollinators so pollination ke liye pollinators ko attract karne ke liye koi bhi adaptation show karne ki zarurat nahi hai plants ko it helps in producing pure lines for plant breeding programs and development of new varieties so this is again one other advantage of self pollination next comes some disadvantages of self pollination the first disadvantage is uh, self pollination does not bring any variation or changes in the plants and they are more prone to diseases or some other abiotic stresses firstly it does not introduce variability and hence not helpful in development of new races varieties and species so this is one disadvantage of self pollinating plants second it decreases the adaptability of the plants to change environmental conditions and they becomes more 
prone to diseases and other stresses so in addition to this cell pollinating plants decreases the vigor and vitality of the race and makes the plant susceptible to diseases so these are some disadvantages of cell pollination this is a table which shows advantages of cell pollination and disadvantages of cell pollination so that we have already discussed in case of disadvantages new useful characters are seldom introduced both rarely introduced hote hain vigor and vitality reduce ho jati hai immunity of to disease that also gets decreased and adaptability to change environment gets reduced so these are some disadvantages of cell pollinating plants next why are pollinators important to us pollinators plays very important role they pollinate approximately 1000 plants which are used for food beverages fibers and source of oils and uh, to ensure pollination we require these animals or pollinators for the process of pollination so there was one saying by albert einstein if the bee disappeared off from the face of earth man would only have 4 years left to live so there are approximately 1000 plants grown for food beverages fibers spices medicines which are pollinated by the animals and in united states alone pollination by honey bees and other insects produces a worth of 40 billion dollars uh, products annually so this is uh, so that's why these pollinators are very important for us uh, this was all about for our today discussion about pollination if you have any questions queries and any suggestions you can give it in comment section thanks for watching have a great day